So hey guys what's up, I hope everything is fine. And in today's video, we are going to see how you can easily create a chatbot without any single line of code. Yes, it's completely GUI based and you can get your first chatbot up and running in less than 5 minutes. So let's get it started. So for this, you'll need to have a communicate account. If you don't have one yet, the registration link for the same is in the description box below. Register now for a 30 day free trial. Once you have done that, log into your communicate dashboard and click on bot integrations. Once the bot integration page is open, you can directly click on integrate bot or you can visit the compose page. For this tutorial, let's click the integrate bot button. So on the very first step, you can give any custom name for your bot. Let's call it Alex for this tutorial. In the next step, you can choose your bot avatar or you can upload your own. In the next step, you'll have the option to select a bot avatar for your chatbot. You can either go with the default ones or you can upload your own. I think this one looks cool. So we'll leave it at that. And in the next step, you can select the default language for your chatbot. So you can select the default language from this list. We'll select English and click save and proceed. So believe it or not, your 80% work is already done. Now comes the section of human to handoff feature. Your chatbot can hand off the conversation to a human team member when it is unable to recognize any user query. Once the handoff is done, the bot will stop replying. You can choose to enable or disable this feature on this very step and click finish bot setup. Once you click finish bot setup, you'll see this page and that means you have successfully created your own chatbot. Now you can set this bot to handle all your incoming conversations from now. If you don't want to set it right away, just click I'll set it up later and then you can set it up later in the settings from the conversation rule section. So let's click I'll set it up later. Once that is done, you'll be redirected to the compose page. From this page, you can create various intents for your bot. Whenever your bot receives a query, it will try to match that with an intent and it will try to answer that. Once a query matches an intent, the bot replies in real time instantly. So as you can see, there is a pre-built intent named default welcome intent. So under bots message section, you can create any custom welcome message you want your users to see when they first visit your website. For example, we can write welcome, how may I help you? Once you have written your message, click save changes. And as you can see in this preview window, it is showing the custom welcome message. You can also click test Alex or whatever your chatbot name is to open a test web page from where you can get a nice idea how your chatbot is coming up. So we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's talk about the other intent section. If you click answer, you can name your intent whatever you want, such as pricing. Under configure users message, you can enter questions or queries you are expecting your website visitors to ask, such as tell me about various plan pricings. You can click the add button to add more questions or queries for which you want the same answer. Now under configure bots reply, just type the answer you want for these queries. So you can simply put your pricing here. Once that is done, click save changes. You can not only create text answer, but you can also create buttons, images, or any custom payload for advanced users. Once you are done with your reply, click save changes. And again, the window on the right shows you the live preview. The next is small talk section where you can set generic messages for small talk such as hello, hi, good morning, etc. Your chatbot already comes with few inbuilt ones, but you can always add more by clicking this add button. For example, if a user say, say about you, the bot will reply, I'm a virtual agent. Now, the next section is unknown user input. So this is the message which chatbot shows to the user when chatbot receives a user query that is not matching any existing intents. In such cases, if you have enabled human to handoff feature, the conversation will be transferred to a human agent. And while the transfer takes place, the bot will show your custom message to the user. You can simply put your query is being transferred to an human agent. Once you are done with your custom message, again, click save changes. You can also see the preview on this window at the right. You can also see the live preview on this right window. Now to test your chatbot, just click this test button and you'll be redirected to a web page. And here you can see your newly made custom chatbot, which shows the welcome message you just created. Now, if you remember, we created a question, tell me about various plan pricings. But 
If you haven't add more queries or question for similar answer, don't worry. Your Compose chatbot uses advanced NLP engine to learn answers by itself. Even if you type plan pricing, it will trigger the same intent. As you can see the answer pricing here, which was actually answer for this query. Tell me about various plan pricing. But your chatbot has replied with the same answer even if the user query is not exactly the same. Isn't that cool? So guys, that is it for this video. Good luck for your first chatbot and see you in the next one.